Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. On this video, I will show you how you can fly quick approaches using the newly released on MSFS 2024, the PMDG 737-800. So this aircraft is not compatible with FSI Panel 2024 Advanced Edition. And on this first video of a series that you will find after that video, I will show you how you can be on final within a couple of seconds fly approaches one after the other and get a landing report to assess what you need to correct and everything is very straightforward on that aircraft so let me show you step by step what you have to do to find yourself on final here i'm sitting in los angeles runway 24 right as you can see and i will show you all the steps required to be flying the approach within less than a minute all right before i forget please subscribe to the channel all right, so the first thing to do, as always, is to select your aircraft. So here I have the 737-800 and I will select the airport where I want to practice my landing. So let's try Los Angeles today and the runway. This is up to you as you can change it in FSI panel later on if you want to practice on another runway. But I will for now select 24 right. And as for the weather, I recommend you to leave it on live condition because the FSI panel will enter all the values based on the live weather. Here for the video, I'm just going to make it daylight so you see better what is happening. And then we click on start flight to have the aircraft up and running. This is very important. Engines running and the aircraft IRSs should be aligned. So here we go. As you can see, the aircraft has just loaded here in Los Angeles. I will click ready to fly. And here we go. We are in the cockpit of our 737. So what we will do now, uh, we are in the cockpit. What I can do is set the parking brake for now so the aircraft doesn't move. And I will not touch anything. As you can see, we have nothing in the FMC. We don't touch anything into our autopilot MCP, the overhead panel. We have the lights off. Nothing is basically set for our flight, but we don't need to worry about that. What we need to do now is to set our training weight. We can do it with, within FSI panel if we want to, but the easiest way if you are here is to go from the uh, flight simulator actions and now go to fuel and you can select the fuel. My aircraft is in kilograms, so I will put five tons of fuel here so that we have enough fuel to practice a couple of landings. And then for the payload, you can select your payload here either by putting the zero fuel weight or putting the amount of passengers you want in the economy class. This is the uh, high-density aircraft. So let's put a uh, zero fuel of 57 tons here. So 57 plus 5, my aircraft will be at 62 tons. So 66 tons being the maximum landing weight. So you can practice at different weight. So basically, this is the only thing you need to do. It's not mandatory, but it's always nice to know which aircraft, what is your aircraft weight uh, before you start flying. As you can see, I have 29902 right now. I didn't touch anything. And we will see OFSI panel will work on that. We also have a master caution for fuel because we have the center pumps on. No worries, FSI panel will take care of everything for you. So before I start FSI panel, remember one thing, always open FSI panel module first until you see the message FSI panel connecting. And now we can go ahead and start FSI panel. When FSI panel starts, it will start by looking at the airport where you're located. You will see that happening right there. We should see Los Angeles. 24 right, that's my runway, and the compatible aircraft is the PMDG 737-800. So now we know that everything is fine on FSI panel side. For this aircraft, we have a couple of options. If I show you that quickly on setup, if you go to PMDG, you're going to have the 737. Program the FMC, so that's if you want FSI panel to program your FMC. By default, it's on. First approach only, so this is if you want FSI panel to only program the first time you fly an approach and then you want to do it by yourself. Not really something I will tick now. And then the final waypoint that FSI panel will set on your FMC. Do you want it to be the final approach fix or the uh, direct runway? If we practice landing and possible go around direct runway is a good idea. Here you can select your preferred type of approach. By default, we will try to fly an ILS, then a localizer, then an AirNav, and then finally a VORDME. If you want to practice AirNav approach, just put AirNav approach as your first choice. And then if FSI panel finds an AirNav approach at the airport where you want to fly, then it will select the AirNav approach in the FMC. 
Then we have the FMC entry speed. If you have some problem, just go on to normal. But for now, everybody is happy with fast, so I will leave, leave it on fast. Your default auto brake. This is the auto brake that FSI panel will set uh, by default. And your default landing flaps, flaps 30 or flaps 40. Note that you can change these default landing flaps directly from the main panel. I'll show you that in a minute. After landing flow, all this you will leave it as a standard. Okay, so now we will try for the first approach to fly a long final in Los Angeles, runway 24 right. You can see here that we should be at 8 nautical miles, altitude should be 2,400 feet. And remember, I told you about the default flap setting. You can see here, this is my default flap setting, flaps 30. If now I would like to do a flaps 40 landing, the only thing I need to do is click here, and now my aircraft will be configured for flaps 40 landing. But let's, cr let's try, sorry, a flaps 30 landing. Okay, we are ready to go, so I'll click Move Aircraft and we will see what happens in the simulator in real time. Move Aircraft. Okay, we go back in the simulator. Preparing your aircraft, please stand by. So now what you will see, the first thing, you will see the flaps moving to flaps 30. And then the aircraft will go in the air. Here we go. And now, very important, do not touch anything. Let the FSI panel work on your aircraft. You can see that the auto brake has been set. The automation has been set. And then FSI panel will set the lights. The engine starts switches. And it will start working now on your FMC. You can see FSI panel working now on the route with the direct to the runway, as we asked before. So runway 24 right will be bring on top. And then we will have the... Uh, Cross weight inserted, the zero fuel weight will be inserted, so we have correct information should we go around. And then we will have the approach speed set, so for flaps 30. And on the captain's side, and now we're going to have the approach page. So after a couple of seconds, that was around 20 seconds, we get the message here, you have control, safe landing. So what is happening now? If we look outside, we are in a position freeze. Basically, the aircraft is moving and bring back by FSI panel to its original position. So you have plenty of time now to play with the aircraft. Once you're ready, click Approach, Vorlock, Glide Slope, and off we go. We can fly or approach. So it took us a couple of seconds, and we are in the air in Los Angeles flying our first ILS approach. If we have a quick look into our cockpit, we can see that all the lights are set as they're supposed to be. We have the landing altitude, we have the engine start switches to continuous, we have the automation set, we have the correct nav setting, the FMC is programmed, and the TCAS transponder has been set. So basically now we just need to land the aircraft, and then I'll show you the landing report, and we will try to fly a second approach, this time positioning ourselves into a vectors to intercept the uh, ILS 24 right. So I will move forward the video here and then I show you the landing report. All right, here we go. We are on final 24 right, approaching the famous In and Out burger. And I'm going to take the aircraft manually now for the landing. So what we will do now, we will on purpose do a long landing and I will land slightly left of the center line so we can see the landing report together. So let's bring the aircraft down and I will refuse the ground, which is a common mistake when we start flying on the 737. So we'll come normally on the glide slope, as you can see, and coming close to the ground, I will flare a bit high and then slightly left of center line and I'll be aiming for the end of the touchdown zone. So now, as you can see, I'm getting a bit high as briefed. 200. We continue and I will go to the end of the touchdown zone, slightly to the left of the center line. 100. Then we're going to see our landing report. 50, 40, 30, 20. This is the end of the touchdown zone. 10. So let's make it 900 meters, 900 meters, that was my target. Let's see if I managed to hit the 900 meters. And we will just stop here on the runway and then I'll show you landing report. Okay, speed break up, reverse is normal. 60 knots out of reverse and I'm just going to stop right here on the runway.
Here we go. Parking brake is set. And let's bring FSI panel. Okay, first thing we can see, the landing distance. If your units are imperial, then you will get uh, this distance in feet, of course. But here my landing distance is red because I'm too far away down the runway after the jump zone, so this is something wrong. The pitch, because I wanted to put the aircraft down uh, at the end of the runway. So here we have a basically a summary. If we want more information, we can click on full landing report. And on the full landing report, you will get uh, mo much more information. As you can see, we have the 737-800 Los Angeles to four right. We have here the information about the weather. And here we have our landing distance, deviation for center line, the rate of descent. Basically, you get a kind of grading for whatever you do on this uh, analysis. Then you can see your aircraft weight. You can see the date. You can see that we approached with flaps 30. Auto brake was two. I disconnected the automation at 660 feet. And we get, as you can see, a lot of information about localizer deviation, glide slope deviation. And this is something that will help you to improve. If you want to save it, if you want to keep all your landing report, just click on that button on the top right corner. And now it will be available into FSI panel. Right there, if you go to setup, landing report, then you will get your landing report. Any report in amber means something was not correct. In red, something was unsafe, like our last landing in Los Angeles, where we had a uh, long landing. Okay, so we that just completed our very first landing. It took us, as you can see, less than a minute, and we were airborne. And let's say now we would like to practice another approach, but this time not on final, but I would like to be on the left-hand vectors. So on the left-hand vectors, you can expect your aircraft to be gear up, flaps 5, at the correct speed, and with a 30 degrees intercept for your ILS to four right. So we've got to get the summary right there. I'm going to click on move aircraft and we will see in real time how long FSI panel needs to uh, program the second approach. So move aircraft, go back in the sim. Let's start here at the time. And the first thing you will see now, the flaps will move to five, of course, because now we want to be onto, um, down, uh, onto a vector's position. Make sure to release your parking brake. This is something I forgot to mention, so I just released the parking brake. And now FSI panel is working. So you can see the automation has been turned on, the gear is going up. Once the gear is up, the lever will go to off. We have flaps 5, we have auto brake 2. We are going down to 2400, which is the window altitude right there. As the gear is up now, we can have the uh, turn off and taxi light, as you can see, off, as well as the engine start switches. So basically now we are waiting for the aircraft to stabilize at 2,400 feet, which should happen right now. I can see that my FMC is in good progress with a 30 degrees intercept. FSI panel will give you the in heading intercept here. And we get the aircraft ready, all your brake for 30 seconds to take control. That's it. So it took us 35 seconds from the time we were on the runway in Los Angeles until I'm ready to fly. So again here, Position freeze, aircraft is in a correct configuration. And I have my FMC program, as you can see, with the 30 degrees intercept to intercept my ILS runway 24 right. Nav setting is done. The speeds have been inserted. My gear is up and off. Flaps 5, auto brake 2. All the lights are as they're supposed to be. We have the engine start switches this time to off. And we are ready to fly. So when I want to fly this approach, I just hold the brake for three seconds. One two and three and off we go you have control safe landing so i can just arm the approach engage second autopilot if needed and you can see the aircraft flying we can see already uh, los angeles right there with the two four right and we have here the deviation from center line so 1.6 miles left and we're expecting to intercept the localizer just before the glide slope this is how fsi panel makes this calculation so it's a eight nautical mile final so we should establish on the localizer shortly before eight miles final and you can see how that works perfectly well so you can practice a lot of approach and if you want to repeat the last approach you can basically use the flows just to click repeat next uh, repeat uh, same uh, same training and this is very very good if you have your uh, headset for example if you're flying in vr then you don't need to use the FSI panel 
uh, UA, uh, GUI to, to start an approach. So I'll show you that as soon as we land here. I will just move forward on the ground and show you the options that we have with the uh, flow menu. All right, you can see now localizer captured. Glide slope is alive and we are ready to fly our second approach. As easy as that. So let me move the aircraft on the runway and I will show you the uh, flows and how you could repeat an approach without going into the FSI panel window. All right, short final to four right. This time we try to go for a good landing. And then what I want to show you quickly is the uh, flow menu that you can bring in uh, in view by using either a button on your joystick or a keyboard combination. Completely up to you. So I'll show you that as soon as I land. Check my speed, just at the RF, correcting. And three red, correcting. Back on profile. Speed break up, reverse as normal. And manual braking, auto brake disarm, 60 knots, I'm out of reverse. All right, so we just landed again in Los Angeles and this time I want to show you the flow menu. So to, to bring the flow menu, I have actually myself a keyboard combination so if I click on it right now this is what I get so right now you can use a FSI panel to do the after landing flow that will be another video where you have all the flows so basically FSI panel can act as your first officer from gate to gate so helping you with all the switching but what I wanted to show you quickly is this repeat same training so if you have your headset on or if you don't want to go into the uh, UA, uh, FSI panel menu now just click on repeat same training and by doing that, FSI panel will bring you back exactly at the same place as you were for your last approach. So as you can see now that we were flaps 30, so FSI panel brings the flaps back to five. And off we go, we should be in the air for the third approach. And this, this will take us another 30 seconds and we should be ready to fly again another approach in Los Angeles. You can see that our FMC will be programmed again. You can see that FSI panel sets everything correctly. We should have the lights again off. Engine start switches continues off and everything will be set for us. So let's see, uh, around 30 to 35 seconds and we will get again the control for our third approach. That will be the end of the video once we get the control. But I just wanted to show you how easily you can fly approaches and approaches with FSI panel 2024 and the new beautiful PMDG 737-800. There is much more you can do with FSI panel. You can trigger failures. You can position yourself on a star. That's 40 seconds, perfect, and we are ready. You can position yourself on a star. You have the flows, you have uh, training scenarios, but the video today is just to show you how easily you can practice approaches. The next video, if you follow the list, will be about the flows. So here we go, ready to fly. I just hold my brake again. One, two, three. I have control. I am the approach. And off we go. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question or comment, please drop it in the section down below. As always, stay safe. And I hope to see you soon on another training video. And please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.